see you today. Welcome back to Jam Online. Wow, today we're talking about God being the God of miracles. God loves to do stuff to show everyone how much he loves us and to show us how powerful he is and to see the great things that he's done and that he still wants to do today in your life and in my life. God is a God of miracles and because of Jesus, we can see those miracles happen in our lives too. Wow! But first, let's get into some worship. Let's thank God for everything he's done and everything he's doing and everything he's going to do. Let's jump up on your feet, let's do some dancing, and let's worship Jesus together. From urban streets to open plains, we are under one name. No one is lost or goes unseen, cause we're all loved. By our king This is nothing ordinary There is power in the name we carry Every nation, every tongue Welcome to the kingdom All the rich, all the poor All the people, all yours We are daughters belong to Jesus. We're King's kids. That's what we are. When we're friends with Jesus, we belong to him. And we represent Jesus everywhere we go and in everything we do. Wow. Let's stop and talk to the jam teachers and the jam helpers and find out about miracles and God working through our lives to see his kingdom advanced. Hey jammers, it's Tom here. Okay, so this week we're talking about the God of miracles. And I was having a bit of a think about what what is a miracle? What's a miracle? And I thought a miracle is something that is amazing that happens. Maybe something that we've been praying for and then it just comes true. It becomes real. It's an amazing thing. So I was thinking, hmm, any miracles in my life? Well, the other day I had a bit of a sore tooth 
and I was praying to God saying, oh Lord, can you just heal me of this? Can you fix it so it's not sore anymore? And a couple days later, guess what? It was all fixed. So that's a miracle that happened in my life recently. So all we need to do is to be praying to God and believe for amazing things to happen. And he is going to work amazing things in your life. Hi, how are you doing all? Uh, this is uh, Pete. Uh, Steve said I had to smile. So there you go. There's a smile. Um, we're just talking about today about the miracles of God. Um, I'll tell you a brief uh, story about what happened to me. Um, I was attacked by a bull on a farm and felt that uh, that I actually would die. I called out to God and not instantly, but within a couple of minutes, the bull stopped attacking me. I was lying on the ground. I was able to get out of the paddock and look back and the bull was still standing in the same position and I still believed that God had sent an angel to stop the bull attacking me. I was able to get get uh, back to the house and ended up in hospital for six six days and ended up with various injuries, which some which I still had for about a year and a half later. We had someone come to our church and mind you, many other people had prayed for me, but on this particular time, this person prayed for me and I was healed. So um, I believe certainly that God heals and he's a God of miracles. And I often offer to pray for other people uh, for healing or for various things. And um, not always that they're healed, but they really appreciate the fact that you care and that you're showing the love of God by offering to pray for them. Also, my father was healed <laughs> after a being uh, crushed by cattle when I was a lot younger as well, so I had experiences of God's miracles in my life many times. Okay, thanks. That's all, I hope. Bye. Hi guys, this is Bez here, and today we're talking about a God who's a God of miracles. Now, has God done miracles in my life? Absolutely. He's done heaps of them. A really cool one when I was uh, finishing up school many years ago and I wanted to go overseas with our church to go help another church in the country of Cambodia. Now the thing is, that required getting some money to go travel on an aeroplane to go over there. And I didn't have a job. But God provided and provided miraculously all the money I needed to get over um, to that country and to be such a blessing to the people there and assist in the church there. You see, God loves us so much that he's prepared to do miraculous things um, to break through and assist us and other people around us when it is. So if you need a miracle, you can pray to God for that. If your friends need a miracle, you can pray to do for that as well because God loves us so much and is a God of miracles. Thanks guys. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Terry, and this week we're looking at the miracles that God has done in our lives uh, because God is a God of miracles. Uh, so one of the biggest miracles that I've seen God do in my life is with my hearing. Um, I had a quite a severe hearing loss and it was uh, decreasing rapidly um, and I was going to be deaf by the age of 20 um, and I was going to get an operation done and while I was getting tested, the test kept coming back uh, positive and like I had perfect hearing. So we did this test again um, twice and both times it kept coming back as perfect hearing. And um, this was in 2014. And on that day, um, God healed my hearing. And so after two years of struggling with um, hearing loss and battling so badly with my hearing and wearing hearing aids and not being able to hear much at all. Uh, God healed my hearing and now I'm um, turning 20 this year and I still have perfect hearing. Uh, so that was amazing. Um, but other ways, uh, we can also show God's love to other people by sharing uh, the miracles that God's done in our lives. Um, so last year, I shared my story of what had God done, what God had done in my life with my hearing and um, a man came up and said that he was deaf 
in his left ear and while I was uh, sharing my story, um, his ear was opened and he heard a loud bang and he could all of a sudden hear again in his left ear, which he hadn't been able to do for quite a few years. Um, and another way is also praying for people. So praying for other people and praying for healing, um, which I've seen as well. Uh, I was praying for a girl who couldn't walk on her leg and she was having severe pain and she couldn't walk properly. Uh, and after praying for her and praying for healing over her leg, um, she received healing and she was able to walk properly. All the pain was gone. Um, yeah, so it was incredible to see that. And so those are just um, a few stories of the miracles that I've seen God do. And God is a God of miracles and he can heal and he wants to do miracles in your life too. Thanks, Jam leaders and helpers. God is doing so many good things all over the world, all the time. And he wants to do things in your life too, and in your family, and with your friends. He might even want you to pray and ask God to step in and help. God is a God of miracles, and he wants to come and be part of what's happening in your life, and in my life, and in the life of the people that are around us. We just need to step out in faith and trust Jesus and ask for his help. I can do that and you can do that too. When we pray, Jesus steps in, the Holy Spirit comes in his power and God can do amazing things. When we step out in faith and trust Jesus, we take him at his word and we believe that he can come and help in areas where we need his help, where we can't fix it, but he can. It's so awesome being friends with God and being friends with Jesus and having the Holy Spirit with us to help us and to bring God's power to see God's kingdom advance in my life and in the lives of the people around us. Does anyone know what time it is? It's Jimmy time! What time is it? It's Jimmy time! I wonder what Jimmy's thinking about today. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I wonder what I'm thinking about today. How can we show God's love? What does the Bible say? The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13 all about love. And God is love. So by knowing what love is, we can know what God is like. All about love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 Verse 4 to 8 in the Message Bible. Love never gives up. God never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. God cares more for others than for himself. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love isn't about me first. Love doesn't fly off the handle. Love doesn't keep score of the sins of others. And neither does God. Love doesn't revel when others grovel. Love takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. Love puts up with anything. And God is the same, because that's how he cares for us. Love always looks for the best. God always looks for the best. Love never looks back. But love keeps going to the end. Love never dies. God never looks back. God keeps going till the end. His love for you is forever. Wow, God is love and I can know his love. Jesus, please help us all know your love. Amen. See you next time. Thanks, Jimmy, that was awesome. But now, it's time for a cartoon. I love cartoons, especially when they're cartoons about Jesus, to help me know what he said and to help me know what he did. Right now, let's watch today's cartoon. 
and see what miracles Jesus might do today. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus. Hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I don't know. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, yeah, will be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here. So they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus. 
for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Wow! That's a great Bible story where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Jesus prayed and asked God to move, and God moved, and Lazarus, Jesus' friend, became alive again. Wow! And everyone knew how much God loved them. And everyone knew how powerful God was. And everyone could see that Jesus was the Son of God and that he came to set people free. Even if they're dead, Jesus had the answers for every problem that there is. Oh, this gives us great faith. So we know that Jesus can help us in our problems too. If Jesus can raise Lazarus from the dead, Jesus can help me with the things that are going on in my life and he can help you with the things that are going on in your life. And we can pray and ask for God's help no matter what's happening. We can say, Lord, please help in this situation. We can't fix it, but Jesus, you can. And we look to you and ask that you would fix this stuff up and have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You can do that this week and I can do that this week. That's how God wants us to live to trust him and to ask for his help and to bring his kingdom everywhere we go. God is a God of miracles and Jesus paid the price so we can walk in miracles too, to see God's love touching people's lives and setting people free. Wow, what a great week it's been at Jam Online. We'll see you next week. Bye. Instead, pray and give it to God. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. And then you will know His peace. Peace to guide your heart and mind as you live in all Jesus has done. Philippians chapter 4. Six and seven Don't worry about anything Instead pray and give it to God Tell God why you Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7